live from Studio 46, this is CBS 2 News This Morning. We got multiple casualties. This is a mass casualty situation here. Terror strikes low in Manhattan. Innocent cyclists mowed down by a truck used as a deadly weapon. At least eight people killed, 11 hurt, three of them in critical condition. I heard the gunshots, like five, six gunshots. Then we all went down. The driver shot by police investigators identify him as Seifulo Saipov from Uzbekistan. He has currently lived in Patterson, New Jersey. Saipov was taken to Bellevue Hospital along with some of the victims. The dead and injured were just going about their days, heading home from work or from school or enjoying the afternoon sun on bicycles. Many of the victims were from Argentina visiting New York to celebrate their 30th high school reunion. Two of them were from Belgium and Germany. Now, most of the area surrounding the crash scene remains closed this morning at Weston Chambers, and that could cause problems for the morning commute. Uh, can I hug you? <laughs> I'm glad you're, you're okay, too. New Yorkers banding together and staying strong this morning. We have been tested before as a city, and... New Yorkers do not give in. We are live with team coverage this morning. Janelle Burrell has new information on the investigation. Magdalena Doris is digging deeper into the suspect's past. And Rena Roy has an update on the victims. Good morning, everyone. I'm Chris Raggy. And I'm Mary Kelvy. We'll get to our team of reporters in just a moment. But first, a quick check on traffic and the forecast. Thank you, Mary and Chris. Good morning, Alex. Good, Good morning. morning to you. It is a cold morning out there today. We are going to see some changes overhead with clouds filling in and a stray shower possible this afternoon. Not a washout. I mean, the atmosphere is still very dry. We do need the rain. You need a coat. 20s and 30s. Wow, look at that. It is. We've got more readings in the 20s now. 30 in Spion, 42 in Stanford, one of the warmer readings closer to the city. But look at the Jersey Shore, Monmouth Ocean, Middlesex County, all in the low 30s. So definitely chilly. Leading edge of the cloud cover rolling in, stray shower this afternoon. Tell you what, when you look back at the stats last few months, we desperately need the rain. We'll run more of those stats in a second. But as you run out the door, grab a coat. Highs today, seasonal in the upper 50s. And uh, you've got more to avoid this morning, right, Alex? You're right, John. If you were traveling this this morning, of course, some changes for you. The current closures on the west side of Lower Manhattan, here they are for you. West Street is closed southbound. That's from 14th Street to the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel. Northbound shut down between the tunnel and Canal Street as you travel through the area. Southbound on the FDR Drive, you must exit Whitehall Street or be forced into the tunnel. And traffic from Brooklyn will be pushed onto the northbound side of the FDR Drive. If you have to travel to Lower Manhattan this morning or really throughout the rest of the day, Mass Transit is going to be your best option. Alternate side parking is suspended today for All Saints Day. You still have to pay those meters. Be safe. Don't text and drive. Mary and Chris, back to you. Alex, thank you. The terror attack is the deadliest in the city since 9-11. CBS News' Janelle Burrell begins our team coverage. She's live at the scene in Lower Manhattan with more for us this morning. Janelle? Well, Chris and Mary, we can tell you that investigators say that they believe this attack was inspired by ISIS. So we can tell you we are at the intersection of Greenwich and Chambers Street. And with our camera, we can show you at the end of this block, you can actually still see the truck uh, that was at the center of this attack where it came to rest after the deadly rampage. The man behind the wheel, 29-year-old Seifulu Saipov, a native of Uzbekistan with ties to Florida and New Jersey. It was just after 3 Tuesday afternoon when the frantic first calls of his attack were radioed in. Investigators say Saipov was driving this rental truck when he went into a bike lane at West Street and West Houston, plowing right into the path of cyclists and pedestrians who likely never saw him coming. Eugene Duffy, who had just left work, heard the commotion and raced to see what happened. I see gentlemen laying there in, this, in the bike path that were run over by this pickup truck. There were three bicycles and they were destroyed to a point where I didn't know that bicycles could be destroyed in such a way. One of them was completely bent in half. The victims violently thrown off their bikes as Saipov continued on his collision course. A rampage lasting 14 blocks, finally coming to an end at Chambers Street where Saipov crashed the truck into a small school bus, injuring two adults and two students. As Saipov exited the truck, sources say he yelled out in Arabic, God is great. Cell phone video showing him running. Nearby police quickly on his trail. 